How's it going my little stars? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode we will be continuing Open Roads. In the last episode we actually got to find about our mom's fling, I think she called it, for the summer. And say nonetheless it was very interesting. However, we got in her van where she was pretty persistent for us to not go too deeply in it. And of course, us being us Detective Sherlock Holmes, we will be going deep and, as a matter of fact, try to find out more details about her, yeah, this summer fling crush. Wow, mom was even into theater back then, huh. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the gameplay. Alright, interesting. Um, oh, I cannot even read in it. Okay, that's fine. Scripted. Play scripts. Interesting. Uh, next. The school for scandal. Ooh. Okay, mom. Oh, alas. You. Not so groovy anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But... Kind of fair. Dear Opal, are you getting my letters? I haven't heard from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been writing you every week. Things at the park are lame. All the people f left and now it's just me, Gordon, and the dorks from Sandusky. If I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with, the, with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess, unless I'm too busy. Laurie. I mean, it's not too harsh, but I get you. Uh, owner's manual, pick up letter. Holy shit. It's from Kurt. Babe, this summer's been real out there, but... I've got to split. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike, headed to Cali. Look me up if you're ever out that way, Kurt. Ooh, spicy. Okay, this is a owner's manual, nothing too fancy. And I found a screwdriver. Perfect. So without further ado, let's... How was the stuff? Groovy as you'd hoped? Yes, well, better. I found, um... This note from Kurt. Missing Lucky, Missing Lucky, Missing Lucky, Missing Lucky. This is where the current choices selection goes. Or Missing Translation, or Missing Translation, or Missing Translation, or Missing Translation. This note from this. Kurt. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. Oh no. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. No. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. She doesn't deserve that. He seems like an asshole. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. He seems like he an seems asshole. He seems like an asshole. Hey, language. But, but he, he was. was. All right, you're not wrong. Thank you! There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. So you just, uh, so you just shouldn't have friends or relationships? No, you're right. So you just shouldn't have friends or So what? You shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean... You can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away. And be okay on your own when they do. Are you... 
you're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, <sighs> what happened? With you and Dad splitting up? Tell her! He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Oh my god, Mom. Well, I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. Mom has been through some very, very tough life problems oh my god i feel so bad for her nobody deserves to be broken up with through a freaking text message that's that's ridiculous oh goodness let's go to that bedroom and see what granny had to unlock because at the end of the day the reason why we came to the summer house wasn't for making bad problems for my mom it was rather to find out if Granny cheated or not. Ah, door, we meet again. <laughs> but this time, I'm ready for you. Let's go. This is exciting. All hey, right. Good work. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I am so excited. I don't even know what to expect here. Not dirt. That also looks like poop. But sure. Pick a book. The Lagni Astrology Book. Okay, Grandma. Wait, is it anything on the back of it? No, nothing. Uh, pick a Bible. Alright. Didn't expect nothing less from my sweet granny. That doesn't have much going on in her room. Okay, can I turn this thing on? Obviously not, it's probably not even working. Uh, God, okay. Okay, there will definitely be something on the desk. But let's take the ducklings, look at it. Looks like it could open, but I guess you don't want oh, to. My mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? Uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Hmm. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. <laughs> Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. We have the key! This gives me an idea. The little key from Grandma's diary is to be... The little key from Grandma's diary? <gasps> right! It must. It worked. Of course, it worked. Um. Right. Oh my goodness. They are so freaking cute. They look happy. Okay. Let's open it. Our thoughts are with you, Janet and David Richards. All right. That's nothing bad. With our deepest sympathies. Our thoughts are with you. Helen, so sorry to hear about your loss. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. The Saltzmans. Okay. The ashtrays. So grandma was a smoker. Okay. Helen. You can't just leave me here. I did all this for you. All for you. And those are my kids too, you know. I need to have a right. Pierre. Oh my god. What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? 
when he says those are his kids. I... I... Was Grandpa Leo not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you and August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. Do you want to go check it out? <sighs> like, my thoughts are like, we should go check it out, right? However, it's potentially her dad. So I think it is better to let her decide. Do you want to go check it out? What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and- ugh. Mom, stop. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. The house can wait a day. This can. You're going to pass a trip to Canada? The house can wait a day. This can't. The house actually can't wait. A day? I mean, come on. It can't be that far of a drive. It says it's right across the border. And if we don't do it now, you think we're really ever going to come back? You could find out who this guy really was. Who your father really was. Who we really are. But not if we just turn around and go home. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Glad I could convince you. <laughs> no, you just happened to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. Nice! You go, Mom! I'm so happy for her that she decided to just go with it. What the heck? Is this Pierre Lautrec, Guy Mom's real dad? Scandal! We found an address for some place in Canada. We've got to check it out. Time to hit the road! Okie dokie. This is kind of scandalous. Like, why didn't Grandma tell her who her real dad is? We can get into August's room from the outside. Maybe there's another way in. Okay. But that was finished. We did that. Alright! Goodbye, Summer House. It was actually really great seeing you. In your beautiful state. Hopefully someone will restore you one day. Oh my goodness. Pretty curious is this guy it's actually the real dad. And what what does that even mean for us? Like is anything gonna change or Alright. Time to order that room service. Uh this is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. Oh no What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. <laughs> right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. 
It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, pizza. All right. That's almost like room service. <laughs> what do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? Yes. Um, burger it is. Cheeseburger, please. Do your please. homework. Yes, ma'am, you got it. I knew I should have brought my backpack on this trip. Now mom expects me to do my homework. Well, I guess there's not much else to do. Uh, cooped up in this motel room. Oh my goodness, it does look pretty fancy, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Alright, I like it. Sad that I cannot see my reflection, but oh well. What is this? Why are all my stuffs like... Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Snacks, coffee bag, coffee packet. Just checking around, see if I find like any snacks. Ooh, a visitor's guide. There we go. Oh. Um. Hmm. What? 2001. I think that's way past overdue. Anyways. Stationery. Okay. Um. Right. Let's check my text. Hey, Tesso Bear, hope you had a good day. Busy with some work late tonight, but we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thinking of you, always dad. Uh, text Francine. Text dad. Hi, dad. What's up, Tesso Bear? Nothing, just gonna cross the Kanta border soon. Wanted to say hi. I had a question. It's about you and mom. I feel a bummer incoming, but okay. Well, you always said mom wanted to, you to leave, and that's why you're not living with us no more. But mom said you were the one that wanted to leave, so I'm confused. She said that, huh? Well, I say it was mutual, kid. But I had a big opportunity out here, and I had to take it. I understand why your mom didn't, under didn't want to come along, and that's okay. That's why you left home and quit Video Galaxy and everything. It's not the same without you here or at the store. Uh, I'm sure the story is even better without me. Who wants their dad as their boss? But you made the store so fun. The window displays and the Halloween costume contest and movie code trivia. The new manager is just boring. So what is your big opportunity out there? Well, you know, I headed out here for a new biz venture and I'm in the investment stage. Don't buy it, I think he met another woman. Can't wait to tell you more about it, but just wouldn't feel comfortable till I know it's going to pawn out. And I also feel that he got her pregnant and probably he's waiting a child and that's why he's like sugaring us like, oh, it's just a job opportunity that I got, totally nothing else. Just want to make sure everything's perfect for when I tell you more. Remember, when you were little and you worked on that book, you drew me for weeks and wouldn't let me pack peek at it till it was all done. I've still got that book right here with me, and you didn't want me to see it till you had it all perfect. This is just like that. This is not just like that. You still have that? Okay. You understood, don't you, kiddo? I hate it that he's always like, oh, you understand that, don't you? Like, yeah, I can't wait to hear more. Soon, I hope. Got to get back to it. Love you, Tesso Bear. Love you too. TTYL. No idea what it means, but let's go. Uh, text Francine. Hey, Frankie, we survived the abandoned summer home. And how haunted was it? Not really. Aww. I did got in a weird crawl space though. 
so spooky. Yeah, not haunted, just spooky. Uh, speaking of spooky, how did your mom react to you telling her about Nevada? Shut up, lol. I didn't tell her. Why are you so obsessed with that? You need to tell her. What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna and she will let me go. Just do it now. Okay, I will when it's the right time. When? I don't know. So, did you find what you were looking for? Um, yes and no. We are heading up to Canada tomorrow. What? Yo, we find some stuff about who my grandpa might have really been. We're gonna see if we can find out more about him. What? You might be part Canadian? Oh my god, teenagers. Yo, <laughs> fourth uh, maple syrup running through my blood. I'll call and tell you about it when we're home. Reception out here is bad. We're in a weird little motel for the night. It's pretty cool. It sucks. It's pretty cool. It's old and vintage, and my mom getting me a burger from the bar. That's awesome. Well, have you looked around the motel room? Is there a new thing weird in there? Probably. If I find anything weird, I'll text you about it. Put the phone in pocket. Put back phone. I'll put it in the pocket. Francine wants to hear about weird stuff in here. I should text message her if I find anything interesting. <laughs> Meanwhile, I should do my homework. Otherwise, my mother is gonna be furious. Do homework until mom come back. Hey, it's burger time. <laughs> How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. This burger is my rival, and I will defeat it. Um, let's open the lid. Oh my goodness! Let me finish my homework. I just... Do you think... Could dad have... Yeah, she's here. Oh Hold my god. On. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke, back in a few. Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I think it's pretty exciting. I think it's pretty depressing. I don't know what I think. I think it's pretty depressing. Yeah. You're telling me. I wouldn't think Grandma would do something like that. Have an affair. Yeah, me neither. But it was a different time back then, I guess. Pretty rich of her to specialize in giving other people advice. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. My advice is something I don't miss. I was still pretty young when our dad died, so... I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never... really knew him. I'm sorry. It's all right. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. <laughs> Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. Yeah, we found a picture of Lady. Oh, she was so cute back then. When we got her, she was the littlest one, the runt of the litter. All her siblings were twice her size and brown, and she was just this little black speck. And we fell in love. That's so cute. I miss her. She was such a good dog. We think you did her an injustice with your art. <laughs> I'm sure I did. I was a dedicated artist, but not a very talented one. What was the house like? 
It, uh, it was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? <laughs> what? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? Uh-oh. No. What about mom? Can can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, you already Paula spilled it! Is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Oh. Love you, Teresa. Uh, love you too, Anne August. August, what did you do now? No... Okay, I finished my homework. Great. Go to bed. Eat the burger. Okay, she finished the fries first. Lo, I have vanquished the mighty burger. <laughs> Can I actually just go outside and talk to my mom? Find mom and go to bed. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to just go to bed without talking to her about what I just heard. Like, we could actually have a place to live and she just kicked it away. Why? And Jocelyn is looking at him and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did because she only got off book a few days before and he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it. Otherwise, the whole scene makes no sense and it's dead quiet. It's opening night. And so then she just says, who are you? The pirate of Penzance? Tess. What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. Not really. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. <sighs> this drive is so freaking boring. I wonder what's going on with that and Francine. Wait, where's my cell phone? Did I leave it in my backpack? Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you oh, sure? Tess. Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand! It might be gone if we don't go back for it. Francine is going to be worried about me. I just need it. It might be gone if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, can... we have. We left one hour and... 18 minutes ago. Oh my god. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to you get know, your- You know, I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. Y y you were lying to me and I was so distracted and now, and now you won't even go back and- Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? never told me about the pills you're taking. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house. And when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. 
If you and I were still together, what do you think would be right now? Why are you so disinterested? disinterested in my business why don't you like august why don't you like august excuse me where did you get that idea you always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help it's like you're jealous of her first of all i am not jealous of her it's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself especially if you're so far away your own family is an afterthought i had to do all the work for grandma august just stayed in chicago you're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not gonna be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow, I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder Dad left. Don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about Too Dad, much. actually talk about Dad for once? The divorce, the- I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see Dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business, I'm going- From your business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey, feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Uh, oh, so wow. So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. The way she just humbled Tess, but she honestly overstepped. Like, the way she just dropped everything on her, and in the... <sighs> in the wrong way and with so much attitude <laughs> oh my god not only did i lose my phone but i got in a fight with my mom this sucks i guess no please i didn't get to read i'm sorry my little stars <laughs> ah crap i didn't know i was like time pressured oh my god i also have a hair in my face and it's uncomfortable <laughs> What is happening? Play on. Okay. It's a dead end. Whew. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. Oh, well... Oh, wait! I can see now. Not only did I lose my phone, but I got in a fight with Mom. This sucks. I guess now we're just going to sit here in silence until we get to this stupid houseboat. What a fun road trip. That was sarcastic. Well, looks like we finally made it to the houseboat we saw in the picture. Most likely owned by the mystery man, aka Pierre Lautrec. Whatever we find here better be worth it. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. 
this is so freaking abandoned. And I mean, come on, how can you abandon this? Look at it, it's gorgeous. And the view? I mean, sure, it's pretty dried up, but... My god, that's just simply sad. Okay, sure, smack me in the face with that. <gasps> Pierre! Pierre was here. Looks like we're on the right track. Ah, <sighs> please remember. Please remember this share facility for all residents who finished off their boats of the dock. If you borrow equipment to clean or prepare your catch, return it to its storage space in on a ordinary fashion. And if you clean your catch on the workbenches here, please clean up thoroughly before retiring for the evening. We all rely on one another's considering to keep the fishing shack in good shape. This means you, Pierre. All right. Hmm. Is that Ugh. dried blood? Ew, 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 why on earth did I just touch that? <laughs> you ask me, I ask you. Pick a knife. There's a lot of things here. My goodness. Okay, well, let's just go out because there was literally nothing in there and let's go here. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. Like a ladder? We want to get across to the boat, but if we try to jump, that gal will break our shin bones. Oh my god. Maybe there's something around here that we can use to get across. Hmm. There has to be a ladder here somewhere. It would just only make sense. Or plank, perhaps. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted, or... or... But we're already here. And the trailer home... Mobile home. The mobile home oh was gosh. fine. I, I just think... If we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together, but I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it. Heads or tails. Um... Tails. Tails. I lost? In a manner of speaking, after you. All right, here I go. Careful. Not very climactic. Not quite as scary as I thought. Yeah, this thing is pretty sturdy, especially for just sitting out here for a few decades. Let's hope we can say the same for the rest of the boat. Okay. Can I actually fall? Oh no. You're not allowed to fall. Okay. Oh, goodness. A lot of snacks. A lot of beer or wine. I think beer, honestly. Quite the party boat Pierre had going on here. No kidding. <laughs> I kind of want to clean up the rest of these. Ugh, why? Well, they're all in the bucket except this two. Aren't you always talking about how important it is to recycle? It just feels like the right thing to do. It's just feels like the right thing to do. That seems kind of futile. Gonna clean up the rest of this boat, too? 
Maybe I will. Maybe. Who knows? Can I actually like pick them up? Okay, no, I'm not allowed. Oh my goodness. It's locked. This must it be is. where the money is. <laughs> I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. <laughs> Pierre Zofi, whatever's in there could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course, it's locked because nothing ever e it's easy. But you know what, my little stars? I think I will be just leaving the things here because it's just starting to get really interesting. Like, it's Pierre, actually our mom's dad and potentially our grandfather. Like, I don't know. This whole thing is just confusing. Like, to begin with, we thought that Granny kind of cheated on our grandpa, but it turns out to be all the way around, maybe, potentially. I don't know, but everything is getting interesting and I will be hopefully be finishing with the game on the next episode. But yeah, that is it for today, my little stars. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and would like to support me, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see you whenever I upload. I love every single one of you that come across my video and I hope I'll see you in the next one.